Hello everyone and welcome to the inaugural ARM Academy webinar. Uh, in the session, we will cover the current TV market landscape with uh, Rehan. We'll explore how to brief and plan a successful TV campaign with Ed. So for the next 10 to 15 minutes or so, I'll be taking you through the state of the current TV marketplace um, and how ARM and sales houses are operating within this. I will also try and give you um, our best projections for Q3 and Q4 and, and what is likely awaiting the TV industry in the foreseeable future. And so I think we'd all agree that nowadays aren't what we call normal times. And, and as you may know, the entire TV advertising landscape is experiencing volatility across both its supply and its demand. Market prices have also naturally been slashed in line with higher inventory supply from obviously increased viewing and lower demand from advertisers. So now at the moment is the best time to use TV uh, because it'll only get more expensive, but it won't get as expensive as previous years. And so for that, we believe TV advertising will become a necessity in 2021 and demand for the medium will remain steady, if not increase next year. So um, one of the key points that Rihanna was making is that since lockdown, we've seen um, an increase in the, um, in the sort of more um, difficult to reach audiences, that are more traditionally difficult to reach audiences. So as we have mentioned, individuals are up 20%, um, but young adults as well, uh, up 18% and, uh, and ABC1 adults as well. So what we're really seeing is a, a change in the makeup of the, of the TV viewing audience, um, and that's throughout the day. Um, I, but I guess one of the biggest commercial opportunities uh, to call out, and again, reiterate what Leon was saying, is that it's these light viewers that we've seen the biggest increase in. So people who typically um, can be at work during the day and uh, get a limited amount of TV time in the evening are actually spending a lot more time in front of the TV set now. So if you think your teams are, are busy working away, uh, they're probably watching Poirot on ITV3 right now. Pokemon Go as an example, um, 2016, was it really the year that marketing, uh, the marketing world changed? Uh, probably not. Everyone got very excited about Pokemon Go. Uh, all of the, the press articles for, for marketing was about what is your Pokemon strategy? Um, you know, articles like this, um, so major marketing insights from Pokemon, the triumph of so low mo social local media. Uh, apparently there was going to be new infrastructure for marketing where brands all going to need their own AR games um, and, uh, and the boundaries between online life and real life have been smashed forever and brands need an immediate change in strategy. Um, and that's just not true. There um, have been a number of different occasions where this has happened over the years. Um, and uh, what we see is actually that people, well, individuals change incredibly slowly. Um, and the marketing world often likes to be testing new things and showing that they're constantly changing. They often you can jump into things a bit too quick. So again, it's, it's all about getting from, moving from DR to max DR. And that max DR point is when your cost per acquisition like, is at the, at the maximum um, acceptable in that month. And that is when you need to begin to, to switch over to the midterm. 